So, this happened back in 2004 when me and my family moved from Cali to Mexico for personal reasons, we stayed in a house my parents have in the town they're from. I lived in Mexico from 2004 to 2007 and experienced a couple of paranormal things. This is one of those things. By this time, I had already been living in Mexico for a couple of months and got close to my cousins and started having sleepovers. When it was their turn to come over to my house, we used to sleep in the living room right next to stairs that were going to the second floor which was on hold while my dad saved enough money. They had a long plastic skylight covering the top of the stairs and right under it was where we used to set blankets to sleep. By this point one of my cousins had already slept over a couple of times and one morning he asked me if we ever heard weird noises on the ceiling. I saw him asking me serious, so I asked him what he meant, and he was like yeah, you guys don't hear like tapping on the roof, and I told him oh that, it's just birds tapping you can see them during the day they had the habit of landing on the skylight, and we used to see their feet during daytime. But that's when he said no. I've seen and heard the birds this is a different kind of tapping. So, I asked him what he meant. And he told me don't get scared but I hear like tiny shoes like if someone is running it sounds exactly like walking thumps but smaller and lighter. I saw him straight in the face and couldn't hold it and went ah ah and busted out laughing I was like no way bro we've been here a while now. We would have noticed anything like that by now, I mean I believe in that stuff but there's no way it's happening in my house. He had the idea to go to the roof and see if we can spot anything, since it was only at night when he heard those thumps. I agreed and we went to get a ladder and got up on the roof. There was some dirt on the roof cause the streets around us wear dirt roads and thanks to that dirt up there. I kid you not we saw small footprints next to the skylight I got filled up with adrenaline and got excited and was telling him if he was messing with me. My cousin said how, if we been inside the house at the same time that should blew my mind I put my hand next to the footprints and they were smaller than my pinky. Like an inch long and half an inch wide and it seemed like whatever it was, was going in circles close to the skylight. I saw the footprints go up to the skylight and then like it walked away. But we could only follow the footprints in my roof because there wasn't sand everywhere so after a distance from the skylight we didn't know where it took off. I just thought of going back down and tell my mom, but she didn't believe us, and I was telling her to go up there, but she just said later, and I got frustrated. We had a camera but my parents always used to hide it from me, so I don't run the chance of breaking it and I didn't have a phone with camera which probably wouldn't help because it was bad quality and I thought of picking up part of the dirt where the footprint was, but it probably erase it with movement because it was just a light layer of sand. I ended up dropping it and me and my cousin just kept it to us, but I never did hear the footsteps and my parents ended up finishing the second floor and my cousin said he didn't hear the steps anymore. Other stuff happened but I'll save that for a different story what did happen after some time is that my mom made friends with the ladies around the block and to make the story short the lady told my mom that there's a do and day living in the block because things would be out of place in her house like if a kid was playing. And she said that when one of her nieces went over, she saw a tiny boy and scary looking. 
then found out that other people have the same experience and it reminded me of when me and my cousin saw the footprints. I came to the conclusion that it was the same thing, but I never experienced anything with the do and day first hand.